Hey guys, once again I am back. So, yeah, you can probably see on my desktop that I now have Click Team Fusion 2.5. Yes, I do not need to use Mole Media Fusion Developer 2 anymore. I can now use Click Team Fusion 2.5. So, yeah, what this video is all about is I'm going to do, well, I'm going to try and do a series on how to make a Final Fantasy fan game for you to try and learn from me. I'm not the best developer, but I'm a fair sort of developer. I'm I'm okay-ish, not really, but yeah. So what we're going to do is, our, our application, we're going to put it as 1280. Unacceptable character. And um, excuse me. Wait, no. Wait, no. Wait. Excuse me. Twelve eighty. Thank you. I mean, what the hell happened there? That was a little bit weird. Why seven twenty? Here we go. And now frame one is going to be uh, sixteen hundred by 720 we all knew that well I don't know you but I knew that but basically we're just going to go through well not the basics but we're just going to go through like, the simple stuff sort of so let's just get out random fun of any stuff and yeah right uh, FNAF yes I have been trying to do Final Fantasy 2 and Final Fantasy 3 remake but they're both going down. Well, not really, but well, yeah. So let's just try and find the Opus once again. Oh yeah, I found it. Right, Coolio. Active. And I am so sorry if uh, people who are waiting for Mon Media Fusion tutorials. I, I'm doing Click Team ones. I I could do Mon Media Fusion ones, but. I just feel as if it would be more better to do Click Team Fusion ones now. I don't know why, but it's easy to get Click Team Fusion for free. That's how I got it. I didn't really get it for free. I paid for it. <laughs> so, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do the advanced scrolling. Now, last time when I tried to do tutorials, I was really, really bad at explaining. So, I'm not going to do too much explaining. I'm just going to like go... I'm just gonna do it and hopefully you guys can follow on what I'm actually doing so hopefully this goes well so what we're gonna need is we're gonna need um, actives yes of course what where would we be without actives let's just make this a little bit bigger uh, pull this all the way down don't get any references please that would just be too Never mind. So this one's just gonna be called Scroll Left. It helps if I can spell. <laughs> and then over here it's gonna be called Scroll Right. Wherever the hell it is. Oh there it is, okay. Awesome. Scroll right. Okie dokie. Actually I actually actually I might as well um, make them go out there. I don't know why. It just feels right. I don't know why. Yeah, like make them go all the way out there. I just, I just, I just want to see what happens like later. Is that is this one bigger than the other one? Yeah, uh, they they're kind of the same. Well, whatever. So this one's gonna be called Scroll Right. So, yeah. I see how this is looking. At the moment, it's looking poorly, as you can see. Lol. Just remember, you need to not follow the goodness me frame. I don't know why I said goodness me. I just say that and stuff. So, for this to work, you have to, of course, go to a new condition. Um, the mouse pointer and keyboard mouse. Check for mouse pointer over an object. Scroll left. Insert. 
Oh my god, am I so stupid? I forgot to put in another. Oh my goodness, I forgot to put in another active. Is there any middle? Yes, yeah, sort of. There we go. Yola. Right, so this is this is gonna be like cam center. So now it's there. Thank you. Insert. So cam center. Um, if we well, compare exposition to a value. Uh, for now, let's just do uh, three hundred greater than three hundred, and select position that minus ten. And let's do the same, but for scroll right. You know all this stuff because I've already taught you about this, so you, you know basically all this stuff. Yep, rightio. So now let's just do uh, always. Scrollings to that, but I might have some music in the background. I'm not entirely sure yet. So let's just try this. Okay, that's actually pretty damn fast. So yeah, as you can see, that that's pretty good. I don't know how that's so damn fast though. I really don't know, but yeah, it looks really good. I think I think it's because actually I really have no idea. And now all you need to do is this. I I literally I did not do this before, but what I'm doing now, see what happens. Perspective, uh, per perspectivity time. <laughs> perspectivity. I like that perspectivity. It's really cool. Uh, Twelve eighty by seven twenty. Not 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 seven two hundred. Jeez, that'd be too much. So is that set to? Yep. Okay. How's that now? I don't know why that's going so slow. I don't understand why that's happening. Uh, did I not do anything? Let's try to direct three D eight. Let's try that. May not work, but oh wow. I actually solved my own problem. Oh, well, I've I've been having no problem for quite a while, <laughs> and it worked. Wow. Okay. So let's just um, do this to about one twenty. See what happens. Yeah, that looks that looks that looks alright. Oh my god, that also works as well. <laughs> so I told you because normally. When when you are in the actual game, when you have your mouse in the game and you have your mouse over here, if you if you have your mouse uh, like out of the frame and over here, then normally it wouldn't work. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you right now. So if I were to have this just here. Yeah, so as you can see, it's still scrolling. But if I have it, if my ha if I have my mouse over here, it won't scroll. But if I have it here, it will. But since it won't, uh, but since I have my mouse here, it won't. So basically, that's why I like to have it like that because it's cooler and it's better. It and it works better in windowed mode. And it, it's looking really cool actually. It's looking really cool. So I'm just gonna uh, save that. As go back, I'm gonna say that as um, wait tutorial um, that can go. So I'm not even gonna use that. So to, uh, so tutorial for YT. <laughs> so this one's gonna be called uh, how to create FNAF fan game. Know what else to call it? <laughs> um. So what else do I need to do? How long have we been? Nine minutes already. Jeez. Why is there so many drop frames? I've never had that before. I don't know why. 
But okay then, okay then. But whatever. Um. So yeah, yeah. You now know that I recorded with Camtasia. Whoop you freaking do. Um. So now. Uh, actually, no, no, wait, I need to make these invisible so that you can see them better. Oh, wait, hold on a minute, I just, I just remembered. If you want to make it look better than it is already, as you can see because of this, if you want to make that better, then I can show you how. So, if X position is greater than 600, let's just try that. Okay, then how about 700? I'm just trying out different stuff. Do not worry. Okay, nope. Okay, how about 650? Wait a minute. Let me, let me just make these invisible. So I can actually see where I'm going. So I remember uh, that's there. So let's just try this. Wait, does that work? I'm gonna try 640. Hopefully this works. Yeah, that works. Right, so now let's just do this as a uh, 1000. Let's see what that does. Okay, so how about 900? As you can see, that 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 works best, I think. Well, no, 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 it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, how about 950 then? Let's just put this back at 650. See what that does. Yeah, yeah, that, that works, doesn't it? I don't actually know. Oh, whatever. Actually, no, no, no. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, let's just leave it at that at the moment. Actually, no, 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 no. I, I want to put it at 6.45. I, I am literally so, like, OCD or something. You know, you, you know what? Let's just keep it at that because it's just going to go all over the place if I don't. So now, um, what we are now wanting to do is get an actual cam thing. So, let's just put this here. Oh yeah, need to make sure that this is invisible as well. Let's just try this. As you can see, it looks really, really cool. Oh yes. So now, let's just save that. So let's just get another cam. Um, aha, let's just get this one. Yes. No, there we go. So that's going to be cam one, I, yeah, yeah, cam one, yeah. So now what you want to do is, actually, no, wait, hold on a minute. Let's just go another layer, put them two on that layer, and then make that invisible. There we go. Right. So, uh, actually, no, wait, let, let, let's make two... Um, cam centers. So, ca so cam center two, but this time let's make this red. There we go. So, um, let's do ca uh, let's do cam active. Why did I do that? I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Don't you dare. Say anything. Actually, I want to try this actually. Um, 
I actually know. No, I can't. No, I can't. No. So let's just get a counter. Actually, no, no. I do want to try this. So let's just get rid of this. And um, go into here. And then change animation sequence to uh, cam. You know what? Let's just let let's just ch change it to let's just change it to sequence twelve. See what happens. So get this. You did not see anything at all. What the hell is happening? What the hell? By myself. Can I have one? Yes. Yes. Data dump. Yes. Right. So where is it? Okay. There it is. I just want to try this out. There we go. Right, finally. Took ages. <laughs> so now what you want to do is, for some reason, Click Team does this. I don't know why. You you go to this thing called a View Hotspot with this eye thing, and then click this one right here, and then it'll move that sort of circle up there. So, yeah. So let's just try this. So now, uh, let's just do like auto rebel values because I have I've never used these. So let's just do cam active. <laughs> I'll try this. So, um, so actually, no, wait, we need to actually have a cam thingy majiggy bob thing. I don't even understand what I'm saying half the time, but whatever. So, uh, where would one be? Where would, where would one be? Hopefully I can find it. Please say I can find it. Is it all way back up here? Okay, I found it. Right. This cam menu thingy majiggy bob. I don't even know what the hell to call it. Holy hell, that is huge. Let's just bring it up a little bit. Um, let's just get rid of the transparency. Okay, that fell typically. Uh, uh, Wait. Oh, that did do it. Okay. Right, so, what's that going to look like? Okay, that's going to look bad. Alright. Let's just put this over here then. And make this not follow the frame. There we go. Right. So now, uh, let's just go another active. And put this here. Drag this along. Drag this down. And then, uh, yellow. And call this... Uh, cam open. Now, you want to do when mouse pointer is over an object, cam open. Only one action when event loops. So, special conditions, limit conditions, only one action when, when event loops. Um, then, uh, then, uh, add. One, two, cam active. Yep. Okay. When uh, I've, I I'm not used to doing this. <laughs> when cam active equals one. <laughs> wait, no, wait. When it equals zero. Uh, when it equals greater than one. So when it equals zero, then um, then change animation sequence to uh, stopped. Then change animation sequence to twelve, and then when it, when it come back to it, it, then set it back to zero. Would that work? I really don't know. <laughs> God. Oh well, that actually works. 
Oh wow. <laughs> God no. Damn it. I forgot. That's supposed to follow the frame. Oh, and be invisible. Oh yeah, and also, uh, when mouse pointers over uh, that, make that invisible. And when mouse point, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Um, make that invisible. Make that reappear. So when mouse pointer is over the cam open thing, make that invisible. Not the cam open. Uh, make the um, the cam menu invisible, and when it's not over, make it reappear. So let me show you. As you can see, it is now working. Yay! Oh my god, I I can't actually believe um, that uh, the ultra level values actually worked. I've never used it before, so <laughs> it was kind of new for me. But yeah, how long have I been recording for? 21 minutes, wow. I, uh, I'm actually going to go for another 3 minutes, see how, how well I do. So now what you want to do is when a cam active of that equals 0, um, display that as, yeah, so put that as that. So as you can see that is still working. But when I go into here, it doesn't work anymore. So, um, when that equals that, then, uh, then, then scroll from there. Hopefully that works. That looks really weird. But, now, Let's do something with this. So let's just put this as path edit. Um, now what you want to do is I put this over to like here or something. Put ten or something. Loop reverse at end and put it here. Uh, ten. Yeah. <laughs> See what that does. Let's just try it. As you can see, it's moving slowly. Let's wait for it. There we go. Now that's looking beautiful. Right, so, right, um, let's try and do like a monitor animation throughout them, to, uh, throughout two more minutes, let's try and do it, so, uh, I don't know how to do the monitor animation for, for this monitor, because it's still got like black background and stuff, and it's like really annoying, so, I really don't know how to do it, but, um, I'm gonna try and do it, right, I am going to be back, I'm going to try and get rid of the background with Photoshop, so I will be back everyone. Right guys, so instead I'm going to do it for the cat, the monitor from Final Fantasy Freddy's 2, not Final Fantasy Freddy's 1, so this one is the one I mean, so as you can see, if you can't see what the monitor is like in Final Fantasy Freddy's 2, but yeah, um, I just need to rearrange these now. So this one was a uh, nine. You don't need to see this if you don't want to. This is just like me just trying to rearrange it. There we go. Right, I've, re I've rearranged it. So now let's just create another uh, layer and put this into there. Yes, yes. Now that's freaking big as hell. How many does it have? As you can see, it only has them. So at the moment, let's just actually hold a minute. Just make sure. Okay, it does right. So this won't take long, and I'll be back in a minute. 
Right, I have officially done it. As you can see, it is now doing the animation. So now what I what I do, you can do this if you want to, but this is how I remember it all the time. So what I do is I do new, open, and then I do animation 13, uh, go to start, cut, but then paste on to open. As you can see, now what I do now is I do clone object, so now it's down here, put that into the next layer, but now go to open, uh, I'm just going to rename it to close this time, and then in uh, then where this arrow is pointing to this dot here, right click on it and then do invert frame order, so that it goes down, see? So now, um, let's just get rid of that. We don't get rid of it, just just unsee it. <laughs> just just make it invisible. Now put this down here. And then put this up here. There we go. Is that in the correct? Okay, okay, right, okay then. Okay, okay. Um, right, this has to be <sighs> twelve eighty by seven twenty. No wonder why. Oh my goodness me. No wonder why. So right, twelve eighty by seven twenty. There we go. Okay, finally found out why it wasn't working before. Right, okay. So now the takes are quite a long time to load. So now for you to do the monitor animation. Uh, let's do, um, when, wait, a minute, when mouse pointer is over that, uh, cam active, oh, wait, no, wait, actually, let's just, let's just get rid of this, let's just get rid of this, so, when mouse pointer is over that, then, um, actually, actually, um, Right, I think I've worked it out. So, let's just do this. So, 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 let's just get rid of all of this. Um, let's just let's just do the counters. Actually, I don't. I'm not used to using Volterra values. So let's just use the counter because it's much easier. So counter, it's bigger. I uh, call this cam active, and then do another one called. Um, monitor so monitor this is how I remember it I'm not sure about you but yeah so mouse pointers over that yeah um, add one to counter get rid of that when uh, cam equals zero and when it is greater than one. Yep. Let's just try it right now. It's probably gonna be messed up. I've remembered one. These two need to not follow the goodness frame <sighs> and and I need to make sure that style frame they do not move so uh, invisible stop animation there we go there we go 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Now I see. Right. So now, um, mouse pointer is over that. So let's just copy that over to here. But then add add one to that counter. Now when monitor counter is equal to one, um, only one action when event loops equals to two, then it's greater than two. Make this animation start with here. Yes, you all know this. Oh wait, sure, put on the wrong one, crud. There we go. And when uh when this animation has finished, make that invisible when that animation is finished then make that invisible let's just try that as you can oh yeah goodness me when it's greater than two then then set the monitor back to one let's just try this again as you can see it is now working yay so now what you want to do is when uh, when animation when when um when this when that animation is over which is this one when when that animation is over um make this uh reappear but when um when that when this animation that animation was playing so how minute when when this animation is playing then um wait how minute uh then make no wait then then set the cam active back to zero but when this is over then set it to one. I think that works. Yeah, I think that works. Yeah. Does it work? Oh yeah. And when uh, cam active equals one, then make that reappear. When it's equal to zero, make that disappear. Let's just try that. What the hell? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. So when it equals to zero, then change animation sequence to z stopped. But then change animation sequence to anim I, I forgot that was there. Lol. Right, there we go. Let's just try that now. Wait, how? Wait, I've 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 made a mistake. Crud. Five seven minutes. Holy hell! I've made a mistake. Whole minute. Right, guys, I have figured it out. Finally. Right, save it. Right. Okay. So I'll show you right now. As you can see, oh fudge! I forgot to do that. So uh, let's just do cam active. Uh, scrolling back to uh, that and uh, then do it to that so let me just show you now oh my goodness me so as you can see it's scrolling now so now look why is it not scrolling to there okay now it's scrolling as you can see now scrolling on here yay so now look look at the cam it's it's, it's, it's perfect isn't it it's completely perfect like there's no glitch no glitch or anything like that it's completely perfect I had to figure this out basically um oh my goodness right I'm gonna try and explain this to you so when mouse pointer 
is over the cam open, remember that one. Then add 1 to the monitor counter. When monitor counter is equal to 1, I'll make sure that you do one only one action when event loops on the mouse pointer over cam open. But I uh, put the only one action of only one action when event loops on when monitor when monitor counter equals one. Then um, make then start um, start this animation. Start this animation. This one. Start that animation. And uh, make make it reappear change animation sequence so it's not in change animation sequence to open and do the exact same for uh, when it equals to two and when action one events oops and do the exact same but change animation sequence to close and when animation o open is over the make that animation invisible that when animation closes over make the animation invisible and start off frame um, stop them animations and make them too invisible and also when animation open is over then set the cam active then set the office alterable value to 1 but uh, but then when you when the animation closes playing set it back to 0 and when the alterable value of the office equals to zero. Then make then change animation. Uh, then change the office to office. But when it's equal to one, then change the office to cam one. <sighs> that took a lot, and I mean a lot of explaining to you to 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 to, to do. And this is animation twelve. Remember. Oh my goodness, how long is this even going to take? For now, I am done. I am done with this episode. So, hope you enjoyed everyone. And hope you look forward to many other uh, tutorials. And uh, I'll be making an episode too soon. Dear God, I wonder how that's going to turn out. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed everyone. And peace.